unbelievable items found washed up on the beach. When walking along the beach, we always expect to find things like seashells and starfish, but sometimes people stumble across things that are quite unexpected. Watch as we count down the most unbelievable items found washed up on the beach. Number 12. Giant Lego Man over the course of several years, Dutch performance artist Ego Leonard surprised people all over the world with our number 13 item. The artist created series of enormous 8-foot-tall Lego men and released them in the sea. Between the years of 2007 and 2015, there have been a total of 6 giant Lego men found in Florida, the Netherlands, England, Japan, California, and Linz, Austria. The Lego men have no real than you are across their chest, and his sightings are so popular they have their own Facebook page. Adding to the mystery is that no one seems to be able to figure out who Ego Leonard really is, or what the LEGO men even mean. One thing we do know is that Legoland and LEGO deny any involvement with the appearance of the giant men. The people who found them must have some pretty memorable vacation photos. Number 11. A Giant Eyeball Coming in at number 12, one of the most unforgettable finds ever on a beach was a giant, softball-sized eyeball. The large blue eye was later identified by fish and wildlife as belonging to a swordfish, and the clean cuts around it lead them to think someone must have cut the eye out and tossed it overboard after catching it. Number 10. Mystery Animal in Georgia Earlier this year, a man and his son were out sailing and found a mystery animal washed up on the shore of Wolf Island, Georgia. Thinking it was real, they looked a bit closer, only to discover something they had never seen before. So far, experts have been unable to identify this bizarre looking animal, and aren't sure if it's a new unidentified species, or if it's a shark or something more common that has been decomposed in a way that has contorted its normal bodily shape and caused it to look more like something out of a science fiction movie. Those claiming that it's the Loch Ness Monster seem to forget that lake is in Scotland. Number 9. Giant Fish Coming in at number 9, seeing a fish on the beach wouldn't normally register as surprising. Just imagine stumbling across a gigantic one that weighs over 300 pounds. That's exactly what happened this March in Queensland, Australia, when a couple was having a leisurely walk on the beach, which experts think was probably a Queensland grouper, known outside of Australia as a giant grouper, was over 6 feet in length and estimated to be between 330 and 375 pounds. Seeing this particular fish was especially rare, not only because of the size, but because this particular species is endangered. Number 8. Bath Toys Who would imagine basing scientific research on rubber duckies? This is exactly what happened after a huge shipment of bath toys fell off a shipping vessel and spilled into the Pacific Ocean. When the lightweight, durable plastic toys spilled into the ocean, oceanographers took advantage of it as an opportunity to track them to study the ocean currents. After they fell into the sea in 1992, the toys, including rubber duckies, beavers, turtles, and frogs, started showing up on the coast of Alaska within 10 months. Over the years, they've drifted to Japan, back across the Bering Strait, and got trapped in the Arctic ice pack. From there, they kept moving, and some were found as many as 15 years later, some 17,000 miles where they originally started. Who doesn't want a bath toy with more frequent flyer miles than you got yourself? Number 7. Giant Pipes Coming in at number 7 are 4 giant pipes. Last year in Norfolk, England, a boat from Norway was tugging enormous pipes meant for a construction project in Algeria. Several of them came loose and ended up on the beach in Norfolk. Residents were surprised to come across the pipes, the longest of which measured over 100 and 500 feet long and almost 8 feet in diameter. The pipes were recovered by the company and taken back to Norway, but not before confusing a lot of English beachgoers. Number 6. Real Estate Sign Remember Hurricane Sandy? Back in 2012, the tropical storms ravaged the East Coast, causing over 200 fatalities and nearly $70 billion in damage to homes, businesses, and pretty much everything else. Most people outside of the Atlantic coast probably haven't thought much about Hurricane Sandy in recent years, but that changed for someone in June of 2018, who found our number 6 entry in France. A man walking on a beach found a torn real estate listing sign and contacted the agent on the sign and decided to contact the agent on the sign, who identified it as being a house from sale during the hurricane. The sign had been torn from a home for sale in Point Pleasant, New Jersey during the storm, and in the last six years had traveled over 3,500 miles to end up in France. The sign was a little torn and worse for wear, but how amazing is it that it made it that far? Number 5. A Piano File this one under Only in New York City 
Back in 2014, New Yorkers were surprised and a bit puzzled to find our number 5 item in the East River under the Brooklyn Bridge, a grand piano. Making it even more confusing for onlookers was that the piano had been severely burned. Several witnesses tried to play it, as you do when you find a piano on the beach, but unfortunately, it wouldn't play. It turns out that the piano was put there deliberately by a 16 year old who had somehow managed to put it there and use it to take pictures to use as a part of her college application process. If creativity and resourcefulness were factors in admission, we can only imagine she was successful getting in. Number 4. Motorcycles Coming in at number 4 are motorcycles. This would be strange enough if it was an isolated incident, but motorcycles have washed up on beaches on more than one occasion. Back in 2012 in British Columbia, a motorcycle washed up on a shore of a remote beach. The man who found it was thoughtful enough to track it using the license plate, and they were able to trace it to a man who had lost his home, members of his family, along with his treasured Harley in the previous year's tsunami. They offered to pay to ship and repair it from all of the water damage after traveling over 3,100 miles during its year at the sea. As crazy as that story sounds, it wasn't the first time people found motorcycles on a beach. Several years ago in the United Kingdom, residents had a field day when the contents of a cargo ship were overturned during a storm and washed up onto shore. Among the items the lucky residents were able to make off with were 15 BMX motorbikes, valued at over $16,000 apiece. Among the other items pilfered from the wreck were golf clubs, artwork, luxury cosmetics, and shoes. They were warned of a possible fine for what they were taking, but something tells me that not everything was returned back to the shipping company. Can you blame them? Number 3. Ghost Ships How spooked would you be if you were expecting a relaxing day at the beach and instead come across a boat full of skeletons? That happened at least 4 times in 2017 in Japan. All of the ships originated in North Korea, and all of the victims were returned home once found. There is a lot of conjecture about how many boats ended up in Japan. Some people have theorized that they were trying to flee North Korea, but others suggest that due to overfishing their own waters, food is in short supply, so fishermen have been forced to venture further and further out into the ocean to try to have better luck with the day's catch. The boats that washed up last year weren't the first, as 12 more were found back in 2015. That might make me think twice about having another day at the beach. Number 2. Drugs On multiple occasions, beachgoers have been surprised to find drugs washed up onto the shore. It seems unbelievable that traffickers could let millions of dollars literally float away, but it has happened several times. The largest single drug bust in Japanese history wasn't the result of brilliant detective work. Instead, a local elderly man found some backpacks attached to the buoys that were filled with between $48 and $52 million of cocaine. How can someone misplace 80 kilogram bricks of cocaine? Finding drugs on the beach is not that uncommon in Texas, since shipping is a common way for smugglers to get drugs from Mexico into the United States. What was unusual is that one week during 2015, authorities recovered six different packages of drugs washing up on shore, one of which weighed in at 66 pounds and had a street value of $3.5 million. Stories like this are also not unheard of in Florida, where in 2016, near Jupiter Island, someone found 20 kilos of cocaine worth $2 million, and it wasn't even the lead story on the news that night because they were so used to stories like this. This can happen in many different ways. Sometimes a ship needs to dump their cargo if there's a risk of getting caught by authorities. Often, dealers sink packages underwater and attach a buoy to it so it can be picked up by the next group of dealers. And if something happens to the buoy, well, the drugs can float to shore. That's not usually what we mean when we say sandy white beaches. Number 1. Feet We've all seen random shoes at the side of the road every now and again, but what would you do if you found one that still had a foot in it? Many people had to face that very discovery in British Columbia, Canada. Since 2007, beachgoers have found 14 feet still wearing tennis shoes washed up onto the shore. There is a lot of speculation about foul play. A natural process of decomposition combined with tennis shoes becoming more lightweight and incorporating more air pockets into the design, making it easy for them to float to the surface and shore. A few of the feet turned up in brands of shoes only available in Asia, leading to rumors that they were from tsunami victims, or victims of human trafficking, but none of these claims have been sustained. Of the 14 different feet, there were two pairs, and they were all men. Of those, only 8 have been identified. Authorities don't suspect any foul play, but have theorized that they were all suicide or accidents. It does make you wonder what really happened. We hope you enjoyed our list of unbelievable things washed up onto shore. Comment below what you think, 
and tell us what crazy or bizarre things you found at the beach yourself. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, and thank you for watching. Bye.